So we have developed a lot of apps and software around this uh, and, fantastic head. So what happens when you have a minor bump on a machine? Normally, it's a phone call to the factory to get an engineer out to help you out. Not with Zaya, it's not. Fernando, let's talk about what we're looking at here in Spain. If you have a minor bump on a machine, how do you go about self-calibrating this to get you back up and running? Well, first of all, let's speak about the hardware that we need, you know? The hardware that we are providing together with our machines to most of our customers, the ones that are selecting that practically are 90% of them, you know? First of all, it's a support. Then something that is very popular for all our customers, which is the Reniso RMP600 Touch Prop. Which is housed in your tool magazine. Yeah, it will be in our tool magazine. And after these minor incidents, what we will do, the customer will do alone without our service, is just put this support anywhere on the working area, then put the prop extracted from the magazine, put it over here, put the mandrel, the, the uh, accuracy mandrel in the head, and then we'll start the cycle. Okay, so what you're going to see now is us going through this process. Um, firstly, we're going to imagine or we're going to put the machine into a state where yes. it's had a minor bump. So yes. we'll walk us through what's going to happen and the gentleman in the uh, cabin can press go. Yes. So basically what we are going to do is that we are going to show that in the actual state, the actual situation, we have already suffered a, a, a minor incident and the horizontal line is not anymore the horizontal line and is in another place of the space, you know. So you will see how the indicator is showing us that the zero level is lost and we are... So basically this is what would happen after a minor incident and then the prop, the ICL cycle is automatically generated. The operator has nothing to do, just wait, until the prop is touching the cylinder in several points to know exactly which is the center line of this shaft in this position. It will detect that the horizontal line is lost and thanks to the uh, uh, 360,000 position in each joint head, it's a simultaneous five axis head, we do have the ability of self-calibrating the head to the proper position, coming back to the zero line, and you will see how, after detecting which is the real line that is out of the horizontal line, the head itself will self-calibrate and will come back to the indicator and the result will be that the zero is get again. Okay, it's got again, sorry. so if you didn't have this, you'd have to make that call, you'd have to get an engineer out to exactly. site, you'd have to, yeah. You'd have to adjust the head, wouldn't you, really, to get back to where you where you should be? Absolutely, and probably we are we are comparing a stoppage in the machine. If you are if you want to carry out very accurate works, a stoppage of about two to three days to a stoppage of about half an hour. Mm. So this is the this is the and and is this all just in software or is it? hardware as well yeah. i mean i suppose the head is hardware isn't it so it need the head is hardware we have direct encoders in the head we have servo motors driven independent uh, heads but of course it's a matter of software and a lot of knowledge for this patented head in 1994 so we have developed a lot of apps and software around this uh, and, fantastic and head so we're actually now going to see We've seen this in real time. It's literally taken just a matter yes. of seconds, really, seconds. To, to, to do this. So now yes. we're going to see this in its correct position, I assume. And we are showing just one position, but it takes one hour or less to do in all positions in the space. So, and it's an automatic cycle that is executed by the operator. And you are not, not only checking one example, but we are making a short example of just one line. But in any angle in the space, we are checking the whole uh, directions of the tool and we compare with the theoretical ones and we recuperate the initial values thanks to this self calibrating system. How good are you at making heads? Clearly, well, pretty we, good. We are pretty good, you know, we are, we are famous for that and I cannot say in which level we are, but we are very, very proud of what we are doing in the head manufacturing. We were unique doing that for many, many, we are for decades working with the five axis heads, so our, we are, let's say, we are experts in simultaneous five axis heads and this is what we are trying to sell continuously and our customers enjoy.